In other news this morning, we are learning more about an officer involved shooting in Mobile. <clears throat> Here's a look at the scene. It happened last night near McVeigh and Government Boulevard. Mobile County Sheriff's deputies say they were involved in an undercover drug operation. They say when the suspect, Michael McGregor, realized what was happening, he allegedly tried to run them over and took off. Authorities say that's when deputies opened fire. Investigators say McGregor was hit at least twice. He was taken to a hospital for treatment and is expected to survive. We're told no deputies or police officers were hurt. Authorities say this was McGregor's second run in with law enforcement. They say earlier in the day he led officers on a chase from Sarah Land to Mobile. Fox 10 News reporter Kendra Turley joins us live on Dauphin Island. And one thing we've been noticing watching Kendra throughout the morning from before the sun came up is the wind. That's right. Storm surge up to 12 feet high as expected along with relentless heavy rains that could trigger flooding and high winds that could cause widespread power outages. So a lot of things to be thinking about as this is a strong storm, but we should emphasize again, it is making landfall way to the east mm -hmm. of our area. All right, Michael, thank you. We're going to check in with Kendra Turley. She's live at USA Medical Center, uh, where we believe that some of the victims are being taken. And it's a beautiful start for us on this Friday. A beautiful day to get outside for another cleanup. It's happening today at the historic Oaklawn Cemetery and Mobile. And we've learned the Coast Guard will be out today pitching in to help. Eric is joining us now live at the cemetery. Good morning again, Eric. <laughs> we hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy all the sunshine. Happy Mother's Day to all you fabulous moms out there. Uh, have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Studio 10 is next. Bye-bye. The Fox 10 Surprise Squad is sponsored by Army Aviation Center, Federal Credit Union, and Planet Fitness. We are in the lobby here at the Fox 10 studio for a special surprise squad. This one actually started at our car seat safety event a couple of weeks ago. We have a special grandma and little guy we're going to surprise today. My name is Sarah and I'm with the Fox 10 surprise squad. Yes. And we want to know if we can pay for your groceries today. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God, yes, definitely. Yes, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. That'd be okay? Yes. Okay, very good. I'm going to go ahead and put my credit card in right here. Wow. Do you like to grocery shop? Yeah, as long as I'm not hungry when I get here, <laughs> then I buy too much. Did you smell the cookies? I did. I got some. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How's it going? It's going, it's going fine. Yeah? Are you busy? Yeah, I've been bagging. Yeah? Who, how much do you usually bag? Do you usually do a lot of people? Oh, yeah, I do. I do bag for everybody. Sometimes I go inside, I get the baskets. I do dance sometimes here, just not, not that much. You do? Yeah. When they're playing some good music? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I like to do slow music, uh, pop, rock, and high school musical stuff. We're going to let you go back to work. We're going to go back to work, okay? Okay. Awesome. Can I buy yours? Sure. Okay, great. Thank I'm, you. You're welcome. So do you think this will help that we're doing this today? Yes, very much, because we had a slow week last week. So what do you think you could use this money for? Groceries, and I'd really like to help somebody else out. Would you? It's funny that you say that. There's something else that we're doing today. Yeah. Rouse's has a gift card for $25. We want you to help us pay it forward. So today is a really fun surprise squad. We're joined by all of our friends from Walmart and Planet Fitness. Hey, y'all. We are going to go inside today and make some college dreams happen for one young lady who had to maybe give them up so she could take care of her mom. We can't wait to go inside. Hey, y'all. Merry Christmas. Are y'all having a good time? My name is Sarah, and I'm with Fox 10 News, and we're here for your Christmas party. Is that OK? Yeah? Okay, good. Ms. Tillman, tell me what this means. This means so much to us. This is the third year that Walmart has done this for our special needs classes. What's your favorite part of all of this today? Um, talking to Santa. Did you talk to him? What would you tell him? Um, thank you for giving me presents. That was nice of you. Where's Santa? Oh. There's Santa. You tell them Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas! You gonna say hello to Santa? <laughs> hey Santa! Good job, sweetheart. You guys are all so good. Today, the Fox 10 Surprise Squad is at the Westco Gas and Welding Supply. This business is really more like a family than a company. We're about to go inside and you're gonna see what I mean. 
Amanda Smith and Barry Homan are just two parts of a large company, but their story is an inspiration to all of their co-workers as well as us. Because you see, Amanda has decided to donate her kidney to Barry. Do you think this is one of those things where his story made an impact on your heart or just one of those things where you just felt like you could help someone? What do you think, what do you think spurred you to do this? I felt like I could just help somebody and this is, I'm, I like helping people, but this is something that you don't get the opportunity to do pretty much in your lifetime and it's an opportunity to make an impact and save somebody's life. It's amazing. I mean, heaven sent. Who, who, who would do that? So, I mean, it's just unbelievable that she's willing and her family's willing to do it. It's amazing. And she tries to act tough and act like, you know, she's a big dog. You know, but she's an angel, she's sweet, and she tries to cover it up with this toughness, but we all know now. <laughs> but Amanda didn't just stop with a kidney, because Barry and his wife needed a little more. Traveling to Birmingham isn't cheap, especially when you have to stay for three weeks after a transplant. So Amanda reached out to the Fox 10 Surprise Squad, and we decided to step in and help. Hey, y'all. Hi. Hey, y'all. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Good, thanks. My name's Sarah, and I'm with the Fox 10 Surprise Squad. We understand you have a big surgery coming up on yes, Friday. Yes, ma'am, Friday. And it's going to be a long time that you guys are going to have to be in Birmingham. Three weeks. So tell us what you have going on. I'm sure everyone here has already heard. But well, I have airport syndrome. It's basically a genetic disease that destroys your kidneys and it can affect your eyes and your hearing, which you see the hearing aid is affecting my hearing a little bit, not so much my eyes, but uh, you know, my kidneys have failed. We weren't expecting it this soon. The doctors were as shocked as I was when I, when I walked in. He said, look, you, they, they're gone. You know, you're gonna do something. And uh, we looked at transplants and then, uh, they started me on dialysis. I've been on dialysis since uh, October 24th of last year. Were you surprised when you found out that she was? Oh my God! This? Yeah, she was. I was surprised. And this gentleman right over here is the one that caught me there. <laughs> yeah, you getting on too, buddy? <laughs> uh, he uh, set me up, you know, and uh, you know they announced it, and of course it was an emotional day. And uh, it was great. It's the best news I've had in a long time, you know. So. Uh, I mean, she's literally saving your life, Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, she really is. I mean, that's, that's, that's the only way I can look at it. Uh, she's giving me my life back, you know, giving me more time with my wife, my family, and my kids. And, I, you know, there's nobody, nothing else I can say other than she'll always be my hero. If it's okay with you, we would like to pay for your accommodations in Birmingham. Are you kidding? I'm not. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Are you okay? Okay. <laughs> We're happy to help. Does it help? Okay. We give this to you. How do you describe, like, you know, when you find out that it's all going to be okay? Oh, I don't know. It's just, it's a relief. It's a relief. <laughs> And now y'all can go hang out in Birmingham, which you were going to do anyway, but not have to worry about any of oh, that yeah. either. Yeah, that is a big, huge relief on us. <laughs> well, good. And that again was Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> we actually have something for her, too, because we want to surprise her as well. So we have some stuff for accommodations and gift card and things like that for when y'all are there. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> that way you guys can go. Your husband can go out to eat yes. or do whatever, because <laughs> you're going to be having to stay for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Two, three days. So she said she's going to keep us posted on how it all goes. And um, we know it'll all go really well. So it's been three weeks since the big day, since Amanda and Barry went to Birmingham for surgery. And Amanda gave one of her kidneys to Barry. And the great news is they're both with us today. Amanda's here in the studio. And Barry is back home. Yay. Right, Barry? Yes, ma'am. I'm back home finally. Finally get some rest. You know, uh, it's a hard thing being away from home uh, for three weeks, but uh, we're finally back. Uh, I can't tell you how much better I feel. Thanks to Amanda and uh, thanks Fox 10 and uh, the family and friends that stuck with me by this whole thing and, uh, you know, including Wesco. And uh, I feel like a million bucks, you know, and it's, I, owe, I owe all this to her. 
I really do. And uh, you know, I can't thank her enough. I have don't have the words to, to say how much I appreciate what she's done. You know, she's given me my life back.